Now, what would you say to someone who's hearing this and they're like, you know what, I want to sign up for a race or I want to do, you know, whatever that is, even taking a cold shower, but they're like, but I, can't, I need to get in shape first or I need to, you know, I need to prepare first and then I'll do it. Good luck. You're not going to do it. The only way to achieve optimal health, you know, race ready health, ready for anything health is to sign up for something hard first. And then that demands your excellence. That demands you go to bed early, you wake up early, you put down the cookie, you don't drink. If you do it the other way around, you'll never get in shape because you would have been in shape already, but you're not because you don't take it seriously. None of us take it seriously. But as soon as there's a date on the calendar, you get serious. We have a wedding business up in Vermont. Brides and grooms show up, they book the venue. All of a sudden they start training. They want to look great in photos. Why weren't they training before? because now they got a date on the calendar. If you don't believe me, why do you need professors at universities? Why don't the kids just go into the library and study on their own, take their own tests? It doesn't work, right? Why do you need a foreman on a construction site? Why, do, why don't all the men just show up, do the work, get the job done on time? It doesn't work, it doesn't work that way. What are some other ways, I mean, you would say just to make something like this inevitable? Obviously sign up, Pick a date. I mean, perhaps make it public, you know, to, you know, put, kind of put your name, maybe your reputation on the line. Like, cause I mean, maybe I'm, you know, sick and twisted in this, but I, I almost try to create situations where even things I may not want to do, I, I, I try to make them inevitable by telling enough people, signing up, making it public. So then, if, you know, there's just all those forcing functions, if you will. No doubt about it. We, you know, the death race every year in the early years, 18 years ago, every year, 300 grandmothers would die right before the race. Sorry, I can't make it. My grandmother died. Sorry. And it was, it was really unbelievable that all these grandmothers would die exactly at the same time. And so then we said, look, you have to go public. You have to go public in order to participate in this death race. You have to get something written in a newspaper, radio, something we approve. All of a sudden, grandmothers stopped dying. All of a sudden, people started showing up and getting it done. So yes, going public is a huge motivator. Getting the date on the calendar, huge motivator. Having folks to your left and right that are gonna hold you accountable, huge motivator. Without those hacks in place, you're gonna stay on the couch. You're gonna be watching Netflix eating popcorn. <laughs>